I almost feel like music is like a capsule for emotions, yeah. at least the way I feel it. So it's like, if you listen to an old album, it's like, okay, cool. For the next 30 minutes, I'm going to feel what it was like to, I don't know, feel, uh, or like feel what it was like to be in that place, you know, like 10, yeah. five years ago. Absolutely. Um, and I don't think anything does it like music, you know, like, I don't know if mu movies do that, or I don't know if like reading books does that. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. Movies, maybe, because they're so um, sort of sense-based. Mm -hmm. Like, if you say, oh, I remember when this movie came out. I just, like, when you watch Elf, do you feel, or Home Alone, do you feel like how you felt like when you were a lot younger watching those movies? I don't think. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I think, mm -hmm. you know, and, and to your point, I think movies, especially movies that were around when you were a kid, yeah. they just look so dated. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And, like, I think music, like, if you listen to Beatles records... I'm way younger than that, for the record. Mm -hmm. But Beatles records sound as quality as they did probably when they first came out. Mm -hmm. But I think in movies you can't... They, they might bring back memories, but I think that... Like, if you ever watch, like, a movie from the 70s or the 60s or 70s, and there's, like, people smoking cigarettes on airplanes, it's so distracting because you can't do that now. Yeah, I'm sure that we'll probably have a version of that, but I think that that sort of overpowers the nostalgia. And books... I, I think the thing about books is, like, there might be nostalgia around them, but I think it requires so much sort of cerebral attention that it, it can take away from the nostalgia of it. Not that it's not worth it, but, like, I remember reading, you ever read On the Road? No. I remember reading, it's about this, it's basically about this layabout. Is it a fiction? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's Jack Kerouac. It's about him, like, traveling around the country for no reason. Mm -hmm. And remember at 20... I was like, yeah, that's awesome. Follow your heart. And then I'm reading at 30, thinking, man, this guy should get a job. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I think there's that. Like, there's a lot of, like, it's a completely different book when you get older. But you're right. I think music, it, it as you say, a time capsule, I think, says it perfectly. It's, like, frozen in time. It's, like, that perfect mix of, like, you know, linkage to your memory and also senses, but you can't say, oh, like nobody would say, oh, the, this Beatles record doesn't sound as good as it did. It's, it sounds as good. Yeah.